everybody, Brad Pointer here, driving to work in my little truck. It is a dark and rainy Thursday morning, and I've got some bad news for you guys. My, my septic backed up again. Last yesterday, and I spent probably not enough time, but a good amount of time last night plunging and trying to get it to go. But I don't know. I may need to. I don't know what I'm going to have to do at this point. I'm kind of got my fingers crossed hoping that it's just a, a good solid plug that I need that I need to uh, just give it some time and let it let it dissolve a little bit let it let it soften up so that I can plunge it on through but it may be the field lines again and if that's the case then the only option I have is to dig a new a new line up and put another put another field line in there uh, so we just replaced the one that well, the one that we had just replaced it a couple of months ago should last for years but I don't know exactly what's going on. It's it's kind of disheartening uh, at this point to to even think about it. Uh, when I earlier this year we had the income tax return money, and now that's that was spent on the roof and the septic tank, you know, previously, and so now it's like well. What do we do? What do we do now, Brad? I don't know, Brad. What are we going to do? And so, hey, 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 you screw. So, yeah, I'm kind of, kind of bummed this morning, kind of worried, kind of, kind of upset, kind of stressed out. But, that won't keep there from being some videos. You guys don't. Don't worry about that. I've got a few more Duskers videos to upload. And I'll be doing some more this weekend, hopefully, if if what if my hopes are correct and I come home and it's like blah magical, everything has fixed itself, or you know, I go in and give it a good plunge and it's like, oh yes, I'm free. But, uh, at any rate, I've got a house full of upset women, obviously. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, me and Willow weren't able to go out and do a Pokemon Go video last night. Uh, she got off work a little late, and I was tired, and neither one of it, and her phone was... <laughs> She left her charger at her work and her phone was about to die so she couldn't have done it anyway. So yeah, it was just the the videos, they, they, I think they're going to keep coming. You know, anytime that it's more than one person involved in doing something, you kind of got to work things out and schedule things and, uh, you know, work with one another and, and get each other's schedules and everything and kind of work within those those limitations. So, yeah. But there'll be another one, I'm sure. Uh, we're having too much fun with there, for there not to be. I'm having too much fun. Willow may be getting tired of daddy. I don't know. You never know. As a dad, whatever. You just kind of take the moments that you can get and roll with it, I guess. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know 
what was going on. It's been a while since I did a vlog because everything's been going okay. Um, and because I didn't really have anything to talk about. You know, I'm not playing any new games uh, other than the whole Pokemon Go thing. If you haven't checked out me and Willow playing Pokemon Go, you sure ought to because we had a fun. Uh, it's not the best video in the world. Don't, don't, don't think that it is. Uh, but if you have trouble understanding why, you know, parents and children are getting behind Pokemon Go, then you should go watch it. And because I kind of explained some things, you know. Uh, and I'll go ahead and here and just, just say that it's a video game. Kids are going to play video games. Kids have played video games since I was a kid. And that's been a long time. When, video, when the Atari 2600 came out, I spent hours and hours sitting in front of it, in front of the television with the joystick in my hand, pushing a little button, telling like 10 pixels or 10 blocks that was supposed to be an airplane to fly on through the other side of the screen. And kids have been playing video games for a long time is what I'm saying. And now there is a video game that doesn't root them in place. This is a video game that sends them out into the world and says, hey, before this Pokemon egg will hatch, you've got to walk two kilometers or 10 kilometers in some cases. And it's just like, you know, the kids are like, ah, okay. And then they go walk, but they're getting exercise. They're getting out, they're getting, you know, these Pokemons, you know, it's not just everywhere that there's a Pokemon. You just don't, you know, turn on your phone and point it and there's a Pokemon. There's probably a Pokemon nearby, but that it might be, you know, and that's the other thing, is uh, Pokemon Go is all in metric system. So it's teaching uh, our American kids how far a kilometer actually is. They're like, Dad, how many miles is in a kilometer? I'm like, there's kilometers in miles, maybe. A kilometer is shorter than a mile. And so, yeah, I mean, it's teaching kids things, uh, and it's getting them off of their butt. And, you know, there's a lot of things that, you know, oh, yeah, well, they, they should be doing something productive and blah, 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 and you know what? their kids. Willow's 17 years old. She's about to be a grown woman. And they need to enjoy their childhood. They may not enjoy it the same way that we enjoyed ours. You know, everything is kind of different. And everything was different for me than it was for my folks. And, you know, the past four or five generations of humans that's the first time that this has happened. So we're going through some pretty drastic having to cope with things. Because before, you know, before the industrial age, you know, and before technology and before all that, you know, kids got up and helped mom and dad on the farm. They wasn't no going to school. They wasn't no, you know, any of that kind of stuff that, you know, they just, they just worked with mom and dad and generation upon generation. And, you know, when it, when they, when they weren't farming, you know, before there was farming, they were hunting and picking berries, you know, hunting and gathering with, with mom and dad and just like mom and dad did with their moms and dads and so on and so forth. And so we're really going through, you know, this is a big, huge experiment. I mean, think about it. You know, we we had things the way they were, and we were all living with nature and in harmony with nature and eating, you know, fresh stuff. And, you know, yeah, we couldn't have strawberries in the wintertime, but the strawberries they got, boy, they were good. And they got them in. If they could beat the badgers to them, they, could, they sure could eat them some good strawberries. So that's just, you know, we've got to kind of 
give a little bit. And this this Pokemon game, you know, yeah, it's stupid. I'm not gonna say it's not stupid. You know, there's but it actually has a benefit to it. Okay, there's it's not just you know catching all the Pokemons because you know so you can brag to your friends which it is that but it's also getting people who have social anxiety and stuff like that out of the house to find Pokemon people who normally wouldn't leave the house people people who you know 500 pounds sitting on the couch you know they're like wow I need to get up and go catch Pokemon so listen to me all you people hating on all the Pokemon stuff you know what suck it suck it people just suck it because y'all don't know what you're talking about and yeah yeah Learn something, fools. Learn something, you daggum hillbilly communist capitalist jerk wad bag holes. Blah. Blah blah blah. Yeah. I may have got a little carried away there. But I was reading some stuff this morning on Facebook. Got me a little riled up. People saying, oh well, you know, these stupid kids and Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, well, yours did real good, didn't they? Maybe they should have been playing some dadgum Pokemon instead of poking mom. Oh, or poking into a mom. How about that? Poof. You know, instead of Jigglypuff, you've got Jiggly Gut because there's a baby in there now. How about that? So, yeah, yeah. Y'all just learned something. Figure something out. Learn how to be cool to one another. Learn how to accept people. Jeez Louise Christ. So, all that being said, I just wanted to say I'm cranky. Having a bad day. Toilet backed up. Don't know what to do. Kind of freaking out. Got to go to work anyway. It's too wet to do anything outside with it anyway. If I need to go dig up a hole, dig a ditch or something, and because I got my shovel, I got a shovel. I sure do. Woo! Can't be a good card-carrying hillbilly unless you got your shovel. Of course, I don't have a chainsaw, so I've my hillbilly card, man, it's in jeopardy. You know, I've got the dogs at the house. And I've got, you know, a car up on blocks in the field, but, you know, without a chainsaw, and I don't drink either, so that's a problem. Well, I do, but not, not on any kind of regular basis. I have a beer. This is just something for your information. I have a beer or two, maybe, maybe once every two months. And that's not like a schedule or anything that I have as I've got to, you know, regimen my beer ration, you know, consumption. No, I'm just not much of a drinker. And, you know, if I, if there's a party or something, you know, yeah, I'll have a couple of beers or if I get together with some buds, you know, might have some, might have a beer, but I'm just not a drinker. Never have been. Well, <laughs> I'll take that back. In my youth... I kind of overindulged in all, all, all that stuff when I was in my early 20s, and luckily it didn't become a problem for me. But anyway, I'll shut up now. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, then like it, and I will catch y'all on the spatula side. Peace.